Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, design and uh, build a house in SketchUp. Uh, first of all, I'll show you some uh, examples of um, what uh, some of my students from Year 9 have made. Uh, pretty sure it was last year. Um, they'd uh, designed these in SketchUp, um, added the, the uh, windows and doors as a texture, um, flattened the images and then uh, printed them out onto um, cardboard and made themselves some little houses. Okay, when you go to start uh, making a house, first thing you need to do is load up the SketchUp uh, program. And normally when it loads up, a little green screen comes up uh, asking you what type of um, templates you want to use. And sometimes my students uh, will select a template that's um, not useful to them, for instance, uh, inches. Um, and they'll tick a little box on the bottom corner of that so that it never comes up again and they don't know how to change it back. So um, if you go into the um, window template uh, option, you can actually change it back. And if you're not sure, um, you can draw some uh, lines and the length comes up in this bottom bar here that tells you um, uh, at the end of that, whether it's um, in inches or millimetres. Um, the other way to go into it is to go into Model Info, and go down to Units, go up to Decimal, and make sure millimetres is selected, and or whichever you prefer to work in. Um, and I like to drop the position down to zero if you can. Um, just by exiting out of that, um, it's going to set that up properly for you. Second thing some of my students uh, run into is that sometimes this little length bar is not uh, visible. That's usually because they haven't uh, maximized their screen. Um, you're also going to need to go view toolbars and select the large tool set. Um, there's a few tools in there that you're going to need, need to use. Once all that's sorted, you're going to have to either draw up or find a picture of a floor plan for a house. Um, in, in my case, I've just found one and I'm going to select File and Import a Floor Plan. Now as I resize it, um, I'll just click once on the screen, second click uh, resizes it, just make it um, large enough to deal with and we'll resize it later on to the correct size. So at the moment we're about um, one and a half metres, uh, which is a good sort of size for us to use. Um, after you've selected your floor pen, you need to know how to um, move around your picture and the best way is to um, grab the orbit tool and you can click and move uh, around with your mouse much easier using a mouse if you've got a laptop um, you don't want to be using a little uh, little pad that's on there get yourself a mouse um, once you orbit around um, the other thing you need to know is to hold the shift key and it turns it into the pan tool so it will go um, help you to center your image um, and you can use the little wheel on your mouse to do the zoom. So you go orbit, uh, shift if you want to pan, and 
the wheel on your mouse if you want to zoom. Okay. In the next video, I'll show you how to turn this uh, 2D floor plan into a 3D house.